All right, and I'm going to set you guys right here. What you can see I've done is I've run the cable in, I've fashioned a clamp here, and I've attached it onto this little gizmo. I'm going to reach inside the door and work that, and you can see it working. Now what that allows me to do is that allows me to control how much choke is being applied. Um, get some of these tools off the of fenders. By the way, I love these flat fenders on this Jeep. I found more tools on these things. I use them for a workbench. I was hammering on a carburetor on the side of it while I go, and I was thinking, dang, why didn't they make all cars like this? That's just so wicked cool. Every car ought to have big flat fenders that you can lean on and work on and pile your tools on. I mean, why not? Makes sense to me. Anyway, if I get this off here, then I'll crank this baby. I to, uh, move my tools, otherwise they'll be splattered all inside the engine compartment there somewhere. Okay, so let's reach inside here and close the choke. You close it by pulling it out. I can't remember if I left this thing out of gear or not. I think it's out of gear. And then let's just crank it. I don't have my choke mount all the way mounted. choke we got. Hey, she runs pretty good, don't she? That's the best she's run so far. Take it for a ride. Take the wheel.